Welcome back to Bestie Bites. I'm Chantel. I'm Brianne. <laughs> and we are back after almost a year of not filming, which is kind of terrible, but mm -hmm. I mean, COVID just kind of- Made it impossible. Right. And oh. we had a busy couple months. Brianne got married and mm -hmm. I bought a house. So we have just been busy doing things with our lives and just had to take a small break, especially with COVID. So we are back and we can't wait to start reviewing new places and, and showing you. Yes, <laughs> always eating food and hopefully working out in between because if we keep eating, yeah, then things are gonna be bad. So then it's gonna be big bestie bites. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't want that to happen. I mean, that's fine if that happens. I'm already married, so she's the one that's screwed. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to become big, so. <laughs> but we're so excited to review our new newest review from dr duff's lost and found mm -hmm. so we're going to jump right into it so just to start with the atmosphere you walk into tons and tons and tons of stickers and you're like where am i and then you see shower curtains bathtubs kind of strange it sounds like it would be a disgusting bathroom but it really wasn't it was really cool it was very cool yeah and like with covid the shower curtains are like separating people we sat at a bathtub which was interesting it we was really, really cool yeah it was really cool and there was like a tree behind us that was lit up like i felt like it was in an outdoor and a bunch of stickers like yes there were stickers <laughs> literally everywhere more stickers yeah we didn't have the largest table so it was a little rough eating but they made sure that we were okay with that we said yes so that's on us and it was fine. It was cool. I actually really liked sitting at that area. We could see the whole restaurant. Um, yeah. And we, I felt like we were in our own little corner, which was kind of cool. I don't feel like being- Yeah, it wasn't super crowded or anything. Yeah, was... I don't like when people are on top of us, like when we're eating. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, so the atmosphere was really nice. And the menu is kind of, it's almost like a tapas feel. Like you can either just get a bunch of snacks um, and the sandwiches come in two different sizes, which the small is really a large and the large is like king double size. Oh yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like a double, the size on, of double your head. on double on <laughs> But yeah, it was really cool. So I'm gonna start with what I got first. I don't think I got an appetizer. I think Brie was the only one that um, got an appetizer because <laughs> I'm extra hungry. <laughs> but for a drink, I got a glass of Chardonnay and I don't know why because normally I don't get just like a glass of wine. I normally go for like a beer or a sangria, but they didn't have my favorite beer and they didn't have sangria. So I just went with a plain old glass of wine and I was okay with it. Um, for my meal, I got the Golden Child, which let me tell you, I got a small. And like Brianne said, the small was like a large and then the large was like an extra, extra, extra large. And I couldn't even finish one half of my sandwich. So that just goes to show how much food you get at this place. It is a lot. Um, so the golden child had lettuce, tomato. I got no tomato. Um, cheese, and I think you could get cheese of your choice. Um, and if anyone has ever had the gold fever chicken wings from Pub 99, you know what that tastes like. So if you get the golden child burger or sandwich and you get that and you just think about the Pub 99 gold fever chicken wings, you will understand like the combo, like the taste, they taste exactly the same. It's just, I have no words, I have no words. It's just amazing. It was juicy, the flavor was amazing. I just loved it and I've gotten it before, so I just got it again and it was just as great as the first time. So first of all, we apologize for Dylan birthing in the background if you heard that. But anyways, very loudly. <laughs> yeah. So I got the general so sow. I don't know. I swear they they always spell it differently. General sows. Yeah. I, well, there's no S at the end. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, chicken sandwich. I'm just going to read the description because there's no way I'm going to memorize this. Just to give you an extra feel. Um, first of all, it says made our way. Don't really know what that means, but whatever their way is the good way. So <laughs> <laughs> it's southern fried crunchy whole chicken breast 
tossed in our General So sauce, drizzled with spicy boom boom, boom boom sauce, which was amazing, topped with green onion and toasted sesame seeds, which I also love green onion. I feel like it gives such a good flavor and crunch. And the chicken was literally cooked perfectly. It was nice and juicy, but extra crispy on the outside. And it was drenched in sauce, which is my favorite part of any meal is the sauce. And somehow Brianne, ate the sandwich like so neatly and to a point where like hers didn't break apart or like fall into the plate like everybody else's. I eat my sandwich in a circle. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else does that, but like anything that looks messy, I'll just try to eat that first and I'll try to like catch everything. And then at the end, it's just the center. And meanwhile, but. everybody else had half their sandwich on their plate and I had to use a fork and a knife because it was huge. It was a big piece of chicken. Yeah. There was just no way of me being to eat, like, eat it normal. So I just, that's just what happened. Yeah, it was, it was a process, but it was a good process. <laughs> so we're gonna jump right into our reviews at Dr. Duff's and I... <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna jump right into our review. I mean, our review. <laughs> So we're gonna jump right into our ratings. <laughs> so we're going to jump right into our ratings. Um, as we said earlier. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm, I can't even hold it in. I was trying so hard. As soon as you said the word rating, I just couldn't. Oh my god. I said it. So we're gonna jump right into our ratings from Dr. Duff's. I have been there before. This was Brie and Nick's first time, right? Mm -hmm. um, I have gotten the same sandwich before when I went and it was amazing the first time, just as it was the second time. So I am rating it an 8.5. Um, like I said, if you guys have been to Pub 99 and have the, had, had those wings, you understand and will understand when you try the Golden Child because the sauce is just amazing and I just think everyone needs to try it. And just if you're looking to go out, you know, date night or just to go out with some friends, the vibe there is just pretty awesome. The music is great. Yeah, they play really good music. Yeah, and just, you're and sitting- And movies on. Like they had a few TVs with movies on. So there. in the summertime, when I went the first time, I, we went outside and they had a huge projector and they were playing movies. And I thought that was so cool because sometimes like eating and watching a movie, like that's what I do at home. and going to a restaurant and doing that out, like that's kind of cool. So I highly, highly recommend if this is like a date night or just going out with a group of friends, this is definitely the place to go and hang out. So before I go into my rating, I didn't say my drink. I got an Oktoberfest, which when it's fall time, I'm always doing the fall beers. I love Oktoberfest, even though it's a little hoppier than most beers that I have even though I, I kind of like the hoppy beers, but I have to be in like the right mood. But that was really good. It came in a really cool can and it just like went with the vibe. So that was cool. And they, they actually had a good beer list. I like having, I like going to a restaurant restaurant where they have different like local breweries to try because I love trying different things. So that was cool. But that with the atmosphere and just the size of the food and how good it was. You will not leave hungry. Yeah. I'm, and I got mozzarella sticks, so. You'll be fully full <laughs> for but the night. I really want to rate it like a 9.25. <laughs> I feel like most people, like a 10 would be like a fancy restaurant, but I don't really love fancy restaurants. Like I would rather go to a place like this. This so. is like a hidden place that I feel like a lot of people don't know about. Mm -hmm. And if you do know about it, Everyone's like, oh my God, I can't wait to go. Or like a lot of people messaged me and was like, hey, where is that? Like no one really knows where it is. So it's kind of like a little hidden place that no one really knows about. So, and I feel like those are the best places. Yeah, it really was. And the servers were real, or whatever you call it. Why can't I think of the word? Wait stuff? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I apologize to you people working in restaurants. I don't know what you're- <laughs> Waiters, <laughs> waitresses. But you did good. <laughs> and it was very enjoyable and it was a really nice night out since we haven't really gotten many of those lately other than running around and running errands and doing a bunch of other birthday stuff. Birthday parties, a lot of fun Weddings, stuff. 
someone got married. Yeah, I was pretty much just wedding planning for a whole year, so it was nice she was to busy. do something different. <laughs> we are so happy to be back, and we are so happy that we got to review Dr. Duff's Lost and Found restaurant for you guys. We hope that this review will get you guys wanting to go to this restaurant and try out the things that we tried because we highly recommend both of those sandwiches. So we are so excited to start reviewing new places and just getting back out there and mm -hmm. hoping that COVID does not stop us because, <laughs> you know, life is too short. And I just feel like if we just stay trapped all the time, we're not gonna yeah, we're not living. move forward. We need to live and eat. Exactly. So. That and is we're all. open to suggestions too. So let us know where we should go, what you guys like. I live in the sticks and of Rehoboth, <laughs> so there's not much. I mean, Hillside is awesome, but and we have a review on me. that, so check yeah. it out. <laughs> <laughs> but, but thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.